Tonight, sirens blaring in central Israel. Warning of incoming fire near Tel Aviv. The IDF saying Hamas launching some eight missiles from Rafah. No one was killed or seriously injured, but this home damaged by shrapnel. This resident saying there was a huge boom and smoke and fire and dust all over the house. A significant attack nearly eight months into the war. Hamas claiming responsibility in this social media video and showing it's still capable of firing back. Its military branch, Al Qassam Brigade, saying the launch was in response to the Zionist massacre against civilians. It comes two days after the UN's highest court ordering Israel to immediately stop its offensive in Rafah. A binding but unenforceable order, and Israel is showing no signs it's willing to comply. But amidst the fighting, some hope. A senior U.S. official telling NBC News progress was made Saturday as CIA director Bill Burns met in Paris with Israeli and Qatari officials to revive negotiations. But the pressure on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu intensifying as weekly protests across Tel Aviv continue, residents demanding a ceasefire to bring the hostages home. Hallie, Israel's defense minister saying today that efforts to return the hostages are ongoing. Meanwhile, Israel's war cabinet meeting tonight to discuss next steps needed to reach a deal. Hallie. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.